G'day everybody, Ed here and welcome back to this series on Dominiche, the art of buying and selling. Now, it's traditional when you're doing this, if you do, you know, who the hell am I? Why should I be teaching buying and selling websites? Um, I hate this stuff. Uh, in Australia we have a uh, expression which is called fig jam. Now the first letter, the F1, I'll, uh, I'll let you uh, figure out what that is but the rest of it is, I'm good, just ask me. And so I feel very weird talking about what I've done in the buying and selling field, but, you know, we're told that you need to establish credibility. Um, vacuum cleaning in the background, that surely should establish credibility. Um, but uh, seriously, my first exposure to buying and selling companies was with a dot-com company that I had in the good old days, last century, um, where I sold that company for three and a half million dollars uh, to a company that went on to list on the stock market. And that was an amazing experience for me because I always thought that if you were buying and selling stuff, that you really, really uh, needed to have like an extra brain where your liver was. I thought all those merger and acquisition guys must be just, you know, brilliant, incredibly smart. What it turned out to be was that really it was just all a sales process and bluntly a pretty bad one. I, mind you, I also thought that, you know, Mickey Mouse was real and that accounting was uh, a very black and white profession. You know, the money comes in here, it goes out here. Who knew accounting was the most creative part of business? Um, so th that was a lot of luck, um, you know, getting that money for that business because it really was about being in the right place at the right time. The good news is, is that I think you can manufacture being in the right place at the right time a lot better uh, with a little bit of forethought. I suppose more recently uh, I've been known for creating a series of 38 websites and selling them for $5 million. Now, the important part of that, and the reason I'm so proud of that, is that that was my plan from the start. See, this whole you know, I think this internet marketing stuff is incredible and the business of it is extraordinary. And, but uh, there was one thing missing. You know, you could create something, you could get incredible cash flows, but as I'll teach you later on in this series, it be very, very dangerous. And not one person on that Forbes 500 list gets there on cash flow. They get there based on capital events. In other words, they sell something. This is really, really important to remember. Something that I, I learned the hard way, I've got to say. So, the selling those sites for five million bucks was something I was very, very proud of. And that got me on this path, I suppose, of ending up teaching uh, this whole process. Um, if you look at the my teaching side of things in terms of information marketing, that whole process of creating those 38 sites was called the underachiever method, which you may or may not have heard of. Um, myself and dear friend and, and business partner and seriously about Frank Kern and I created the underachiever method. And that underachiever mastery product was incredibly well received. Um, it won information marketing product of the year in 2005, which is pretty extraordinary. That's out of everything, all sorts of products. And also we, won the product launch of the year for all the product launches that we did uh, over that 2005-2006 period. So, yeah, you know, successful, and I'm, you're pretty much sitting there going, whoopee, well done, Ed. But something that I am very proud of is in 2005, after selling my sites, I decided to put together the 30-day challenge. Now, this is where I would teach as hard as I could for 30 days, and it wouldn't cost people a cent, nothing, zero, zip. And that, uh, to me, is something I'll always be very proud of because the first year we had 900 people start and we had, uh, I think it was 30 odd successful, made their first dollar with their own product. In the second year we had over three and a half thousand start and we ended up, over the course of the first 30 days, have about 47 people be successful in making their dollar and after that a couple of hundred in the following you know, 60 days after that. That was really uh, was something that I was really proud of. And you know why? It's because for each one of those people's, their lives changed. You know, it, by definition, it did. 
you know, it's that classic story of where, you know, if just a little tiny change in somebody's life, really, when it's over here, means nothing. But when it gets over here, as, as it grows out, that, those paths just grow. And over here, it becomes, you know, a huge difference. And that was really, really important to me. So, yes, when I've taught this stuff, you know, in the real world, there have been $10,000 a head conferences, all of that sort of thing. But you know what the takeaway should be of this whole bragging video? Is, bluntly, I'm an idiot. Okay? If I have stuffed up so many times I cannot tell you I've almost been bankrupt I started up a NASCAR magazine would you believe in Australia not Charlotteville North Carolina in Australia it was days of thunder Tom and Nicole were going out it was it was heady days but I just got out of that with my pants on and you know I've made mistake after mistake after mistake and in the business of buying and selling websites there's no uh, better experience than you can get than the experience of doing it. And so when I designed this course, and for all those you know courses that I've done in the past, the key thing was it's it's one thing to be entertaining, it's one thing to be educational crack. I want you to go out there and do something with it, and that's what we've designed this whole Dominish process to be, and that's what I really want you to to think about. And to make it ensure that you're able to do something, we've had to make it very simple very step by step make sure that you know technology is not an issue make sure that you know being afraid of the computer is not an issue because this is about buying and selling it's like buying and selling houses you don't need to know how to build the house to buy and sell houses and become a real estate investor not at all thank goodness same here with the web and bluntly a hell of a lot easier you can prospect on the web at 2 a.m. in the morning you certainly don't want to wake anybody up now this next part of the series we're actually going to change focus. None of my, you know, um, head because that doesn't really add a lot of value. Although, you know, I was hoping that the you know the sex appeal oozing out of the camera here might uh, be just enough to convince you that it's worth studying from me. But apparently, that's not enough. I, who would who would have known? Um, but seriously, the next video I want to actually take you and show you literally in real time. A whole bunch of sites that are available for sale just so you can see that the extraordinary situation that is going on at the moment it really is uh, an extraordinary situation and something that I'm going to show you in the very next part of this series all right we'll speak with you soon thanks for bearing with me while I go through the the old list of achievements there but um, seriously let's get down to business